Hi friends, uh, in this video we are going to be showing you the procedure to upgrade the RAM and uh, hard drive of the Lenovo S400. And the Lenovo S400 that we are uh, dismantling today uh, does not seem to be a very easy thing to do but we will make it look easy. So let's start, let's get started with the job here. This is the Lenovo S400 that we have and we need to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive of. So if the laptop looks just like this, it's the Lenovo S400 and you can apply this procedure to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive. So first thing first, you need to have a, a good magnetic screwdriver in hand uh, as well as uh, another screwdriver set which has got different bits. So second thing that we need to do here is flip it and uh, We need to remove the battery of the laptop. Before opening any laptop, we need to remove the battery, so we need to do it. Alright, so the battery has come out now. The next thing that we need to do here is remove these three screws. The Lenovo S400 has a unibody design, so it does not have a simple panels which will just come out and you can upgrade the RAM you need to do all this that we are showing you and then uh, you have these screws one two and three and four and five these four screws have to be removed also keep the top level screws on one side so that you can differentiate There is this one screw over here which you have to remove. It comes out pretty neatly. As you can see. Now here is the design challenge. Uh, how do you basically remove the base panel here? Uh, Lenovo has done a very clever trick on this thing. They have uh, hidden the screws behind these rudders. These are not uh, stickered rudders as you can see. You can see screws over here. Just need to remove this one screw, and uh, same way with all the rudders. There are totally four rudders. They have uh, one screw each, which are holding onto the base panel. took us a little bit of uh, time to understand how exactly the base panel will be removed but we finally understood that very very cleverly hidden but we have cracked it Alright, so we've removed all the screws uh, that are there basically. This is the small one, keep it on the one side. And now you can basically very easily just remove the base panel. Voila! So here we have, uh, we've got the Lenovo S400 open for you, and you can see that there's only one RAM slot. Alright, so. This is the hard drive, this is a SATA hard drive, you can basically just remove this hard drive and put a SDD in it. These are these four screws, one, two screws rather. And you just need to, to your right, you need to, okay, and here it comes out. It's quite a slim hard drive, it's a 2.5mm hard drive, but SATA based hard drive. You know, take an exact hard drive just like this, which is slimmer than the normal laptop hard drives. And uh, if it is an SSD, just 
remove these uh, one two three and four panels here which are holding onto the hard drive and just insert it back Now coming to the RAM, uh, this is where the RAM is and you just need to, these two notches that are holding onto the RAM, just remove them and uh, this is where your RAM is and this is basically a DDR3 sodium memory, you just need to take another DDR3 sodium memory and insert it. We have one 4GB RAM sodium RAM here, we suggest 16 chip memories. Uh, this is a 16 chip memory, 8 on this side and 8 on this side. This is a 4GB DDR3 and we insert it over here. So, one thing is clear that Lenovo S400 has the maximum capacity of upgradation up to 8GB because it has only got one uh, slot here. So, if in future you want to upgrade it to 8GB, you just need to uh, remove this 4GB slot and put a single 8GB DDR3 sodium. Now, let's also have a look at some other things in the Lenovo S400. This is the first uh, stripped down version of the Lenovo S400. Uh, what is inside and how does it look on the inside? This is where the speakers are one and two speakers, and uh, this is the processor. Alright. Basically, it has an ultra low voltage processor, so. cannot see the Wi-Fi chip, Wi-Fi chip is maybe on the other side, just need to move all these, now the processor is here, not here, this is the graphics chip, this is where the processor is, this is connected to the heat vent, it's got a considerable size of the fan here, alright, quite a difficult job it was actually to open it and uh, upgrade the RAM or the hard drive at least to look at it but once we got a hang of it once we understood how exactly the design was it was pretty simple so this my friends was a small video showing you how to upgrade the RAM of the Lenovo S400 as well as the hard drive so this is it Thanks a lot for watching, uh, do not forget to subscribe, uh, do give in your suggestions, comments and uh, visit our website www.techstore.co.in for buying anything online. Thank you so much, thank you for watching.